Hello, in this video I'm going to introduce you to inverse transformations. So the way this works is, say we have a transformation A and I apply it to a point and I get some new point Q. Well, say I want to undo that transformation and go back to the original point that we started with. How can I do that? So that's what this video is going to show. And it's going to do that through a few different examples. So I'll timestamp each of them below. And if this video is useful, then please do like and subscribe. Okay, so before we look at a question, let's see how this is going to work. So say I have a point X and I apply a transformation matrix to it A and I get a new point X prime. Now say in the question we're given the matrix A and this new point X prime, but we're not given the original point X. Could I find the original object? Could I find the original point? Well, we can by using our inverse matrices. So what I'm going to do is multiply both sides on the left by the inverse of A, like so, A inverse A multiplied by x is equal to a inverse x prime and you'll notice because we've now got a inverse multiplied by a this is just the identity and so that goes away and we get this original point x is equal to a inverse x prime and this is the idea we're going to use to help us reverse a transformation so let's have a look at this question here so a point p is reflected in the x-axis and then it's rotated 180 degrees about the origin. The final image has coordinates for negative three. Find the coordinates of P. So the first thing I'm gonna do is find my matrix that represents a reflection in the x-axis, and I'll call this matrix A, okay? Now, if you've forgotten how to find that matrix, what we'd do is we'd look at what happens to the points one, zero, and zero, one under this transformation. So a reflection in the x-axis would leave the point one, zero fixed. So that's the first column of my matrix. So that stays the same. And the point zero, one would go down and would become the point zero, negative one. So that's the second column. So my matrix A is the reflection, I'll label it, in the x-axis. We now need to find the second transformation, which is B, and that is a rotation 180 degrees about the origin. So my point one zero is gonna end up over here. That's gonna become the point negative one zero. And the point zero negative one is gonna go all the way over there. And that's gonna become the point zero negative one. That's my rotation 180 degrees. So we are reflecting in the x-axis and then rotating. So if I wanted to do this in one go, in one matrix, I could find that by doing matrix B multiplied by matrix A. And if you're unsure as to why that is, then I'll link my previous video below. So we're gonna take matrix B, which is negative one, zero, zero, negative one, and multiply it by A like so. And we get a new matrix, which is gonna be negative one, zero, zero, and one, like so. So this is the combined transformation matrix. So that will do both transformations in one go. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna multiply that point P by the overall transformation matrix. So that's transformation A followed by transformation B. So we'll multiply that by P and we get a new point which is four negative three, like so. Now all I need to do is find the inverse of this matrix here and then I'm gonna multiply both sides of this equation on the left by that. And I'm gonna just find that inverse. And we actually find that the inverse to this matrix is the matrix itself. So I'm gonna multiply both sides on the left by this matrix again. So minus one, zero, zero, one. And I'm gonna do the same on this side like so. Now, these two matrices will disappear because they'll turn into the identity. So we get the original point P is equal to, well, I'm just gonna multiply this out and we're gonna get negative four and negative three. So the original point P had the coordinates negative four, negative three. So hopefully this video was useful. If it was, then please do like and subscribe and go over to my channel where I have loads of other maths tutorials. Thanks for watching.